In today's video, we have a quick illustrated tutorial on how to design some funky fresh typography in 2019. We're going to utilize abstract shapes and some nifty techniques for the final typographic solution. It's actually easier than you think. So welcome back to Satori Graphics and we're delving deep into Adobe Illustrator once more for today's funky fresh typography design. Now because it's typography, we obviously need some text, so go ahead and press T for the type tool and then generate out your text. It is wise to choose a thick and a bold font, and I've personally gone for Helvetica Black for maximum thickness. But once you have your text, you can move it off to one side as we're going to use that later. Now choose a background colour for your design in the colour palette, and you can choose whatever floats your boat, but I'm electing for a deep blue, almost purple colour for my design. Now press M for the rectangle tool, and then draw out an area on your artboard. You can click your rectangle and then press Command 2 on a Mac, or Control 2 on a PC, as this is going to lock it down in place. This just makes things easier for us when we're creating a design today. We're now going to utilize the curvature tool to make the shapes for the next step in today's typography tutorial. Now this is a lot easier to use than the pen tool for shapes of this nature. You just click in the general direction that you want to go, and Illustrator is going to generate perfect curves as you go. It's that simple really. So once you have your shape, click the gradient in the color palette situated in the bottom left on your screen and then apply your gradient, choosing the colours that you want to use. Now one more time, I'm going to make another quick shape here, following the shape style and direction using the curvature tool. I'm going to show you how to tidy up the shapes in a moment, but you can always press A for the direct selection tool and then manipulate the anchor points and the handles around the shape. But for an easy and a quick smooth adjustment, go ahead and choose the smooth tool located here. Now just click the anchor points or click and drag around the vector path and in doing so your shape will smoothen out before your very eyes. I'm now going to show you a really neat technique that is great for digital illustrations as well as the current typography design that we're making. Now if I have two abstract looking shapes here, I can select both of them and then open up the Pathfinder window. In the Pathfinder window, I'm going to utilize the divide function. Now this cuts the shapes along the overlapping vector paths and I can actually then ungroup the divided selection and remove unwanted areas. This leaves me with a crisp and a clean cutout shape for my design, and you can have lots of fun with this technique on your own design. Now I've added a dark background to the artboard with the rectangle tool, and I also finished off my abstract shape creations. We're now ready to make the actual typography section in the process. We're going to use a clipping mask, so bring the text to the front of all layers, and then in the Pathfinder window, convert your text to a compound shape. This is going to allow us to change the actual wording after the effect has been applied. Now bring your text over onto your design and adjust the scale by holding down shift and then clicking and dragging. We can actually change the layout later as I have some neat tips to show you, but for now just try to cover your design properly with the text. Now my background layer is in fact locked, but the blue one is unlocked and I did that by unlocking them here in the top drop down menu, or you can use the keyboard shortcut. Now select all relevant layers and then right or control click the selection. You then just choose clipping mask. And as you can see, that looks pretty neat, but what if you're not happy with the layout of your design? Well, go ahead and open up the layers window, and then you can select specific design objects by clicking the blue button. 
and then just adjust and move them around as you see fit. The clipping mask effect will still be applied to your design and the typography, because the text is a compound shape you can also change the wording too. Now it's going to help if you name the layers in the layers window, that's something I didn't do today, but it's not essential, it's just helpful. You can use these techniques and these tips that I've shown you in today's video to create some awesome and some funky typography in Illustrator. Abstract shapes are a kind of trending topic in 2019 when it comes to graphic design, so explore this technique and abstract shapes to make your very own designs. If you're not completely clear on today's tutorial or you're not sure about certain aspects, go back and watch the video again or you can bookmark it to watch it later. Also don't forget to like and share my content on social media, and if you want to keep boosting your skills and your awareness as a graphic designer, make sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly graphic design content. Have a great day and until next time, design your future today. Peace. <music>